Hey guys, it's DC here and uh, I just wanted to make a quick video to answer the questions of uh, Jibstar who, who replied to one of my videos the other day. And he was asking about two courses, um, I'll bring that up here. So these two courses are, are good and they're, they're more as an introduction, I wouldn't use them as um, like actual proof that you can do the job. They're more an introduction and an overview of uh, cybersecurity in general. Um, so if you are planning to do those two courses, that's fine, they're good and they're probably a good introduction so you know what you're getting yourself into, but they are, they're not qualifications or um, anything that's gonna help you to get a job per se. Um, so yeah, I, I just wanted to answer that because I do get a few different links sent through um, and yeah, they're usually along the same lines. They're introductions to what um, what cybersecurity is and uh, how you can potentially go about getting a job, which is they're basically exactly what I do in these videos, um, but they cost money, unfortunately. To answer the second question, can you be an independent contractor in cybersecurity? Yeah, definitely you can. Um, it's That's exactly what I do in in that place there. Um, yeah, it's um, you, you get paid better actually as a contractor usually, depending on if you can get back-to-back -back work, which also depends on if you're good or not, um, I think anyway. Because uh, there's, well, in Australia, there's not that many people here. So being good at your job definitely, um, definitely makes a difference. Uh, if, um, if it's something you want to do though, just be aware that it's, it's not easy. I have mentioned in other videos, you have to sort of fight your way to the top a little bit and r you really have to prove yourself uh, against a lot of random questions um, and a lot of things just get dropped randomly on you. Like I was saying the other day to a mate of mine, um, he's, he also works in cybersecurity. He's a cybersecurity team lead uh, for a large mining company. And he was saying, um, you know, he's like, oh, you know, how's, how's the contracting going? I said, yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Um, but the other day I did a storage migration and he was like, what, why, why, <laughs> how did that come about? And I said, well, the guy called in sick who works in storage and they said, hey, can you do it? I said, probably not. And they said, well, you know, let's put the cybersecurity stuff on hold for a little bit of time and uh, yeah, get going on this uh, on this storage migration. So um, yeah, I, I, I basically did it. So I, yeah, I won't mention the company. Um, it was actually a government, but I won't mention which one, but yeah, uh, that was a few months ago. It wasn't this one that I'm at now. So anyway, uh, yeah, that sort of answers my the two questions that Jibstar had for me. Um, on another note, I have a few different videos coming out that I'm, I'm putting together at the moment. I just have to do more research and get the, the facts right first. And they are uh, how to get a job as a cybersecurity engineer in the UK, how to get a job as a cybersecurity engineer in India, and how to get a job as a cybersecurity engineer in USA. Um, I want to get these three videos done uh, because I think they're going to be really useful for people out there. It seems to be where most of my audience is from anyway. So yeah, I think it's very important to get those ones out. So that's that's what I'm doing. Anyway, thanks for having me guys, and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.